Hi, I'm Lisa Munter, and I'm glad to welcome you to this episode of ATC's Business Success Stories. For this installment, we'll learn about Minogue's Beverage Center, which has had a long history of success dating back to the 1920s. President Jack Minogue Jr. knows his success is due to their high level of customer service and close banking relationship with the Adirondack Trust Company. With a brand new expansion into Malta, we meet with Jack and his son Michael to hear about their family business and the importance of working together. Our business started in 1921 with my grandfather uh, with a small soda bottling plant in Granville, New York. In 1934, he expanded to a beer distributorship with the 34th license issued a wholesale beer license issued in New York after the end of Prohibition. And in 1967, uh, we uh, uh, changed our focus from the wholesale business to the uh, retail business by opening our first store in Queensbury. From there, we expanded to Saratoga, Wilton, and now Malta. I can say working in a family business, there's a real tangible sense of satisfaction. I'd reached a point in my career where I felt like I had learned quite a bit, but I really wasn't enjoying my, my work, like there was something missing. I started talking to my father about coming back to the business and started planning the expansion in Malta. When I called the bank, and uh, in this particular case when I wanted to discuss Malta, uh, I didn't feel as though I would have a, I felt like I was calling my friend. I went in to uh, speak to Charles about the possibility of him helping me with this expansion. We have a long history of relationship there, so he, he knew us well, and I think he felt comfortable in uh, discussing the bank's support of our family business. It's a, it's a very mo much more personal relationship um, at the Adirondack Trust uh, than in a, you know, my previous experience at a large regional bank. Getting, uh, you know, getting anywhere above the branch level is very difficult. The openness that the Adirondack Trust has uh, just uh, really makes the relationship much more rich. I had been a longtime customer of Minogue's. I lived in the town of Queensbury where Jack has his first store. Uh, and, and been a customer for a long time. Certainly had an interest in, in what they do. Uh, so uh, when, when the previous lender had retired, uh, they, they transferred the relationship to me and it's, I think, been a seamless transition. Mike has always made himself available to me whenever I had any questions or concerns about where we went next on the financing of, of the business and he's, uh, you know, stepped up and addressed uh, uh, any concerns that I had and uh, and has been able to put forth ideas and plans to uh, improve our banking relationship with the Adirondack Trust. You know, banking's changed a lot over the last several years. You, you, you hear that all the time. And I think a big part of that is a lot of banks lose sight of who the people are that you're, you're dealing with and the character of the person and, and the loyalty that, that they've had to the bank. That's something that today still means something to the Adirondack Trust Company that uh, I think a lot of the larger banks have, have lost sight of. So in my relationship with the Minogues, we view the banking relationship as a real partnership. It wasn't Minogues Beverage expanding into Malta, it was Minogues Beverage and the Adirondack Trust Company together uh, doing this expansion and working together in a true partnership so that we can all benefit. We work together to, uh, to, to benefit the bank and, and his company and uh, we, we both benefit in the end from that. For the Minogues, having a strong financial partner they can count on like the Adirondack Trust Company has made all the difference in growing their business. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on ATC's Business Success Stories.